All right, day two, working on this thing. Um, yesterday, got it running, got the, the timing set right. Um, got it running, turn the key. Um, still running it off the can. Um, I'm gonna try to pressurize the tank with just a little bit of air pressure and then uh, run a line from here into another can, get all the old fuel out of there, put some new fuel in there and try to pull from the tank. But before that, I need to make sure that the transmission and the brakes still work. Um, the last time I drove it, when I parked it, the transmission worked and brakes worked and everything, but it's been sitting so long, I'm sure. Neither of them have any fluid, so I went and picked up some fluid because I'm sure it's not gonna work. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the car, check the transmission fluid, see if I can get the the master cylinder cap off and go from there. All right, so I was able to get the cap off the master cylinder. It took uh, some WD-40, PB Blaster, and uh, hovering on the brink of breaking that plastic cap, but it came off and uh, that's what we're working with there. So I'm sure that's fine. I'm gonna try to I don't know, get a vacuum in there and suck some of that stuff out, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just do that. I'll just use my flashlight to dig some of this stuff out of here. Oh my God. Huh. So yeah, I'm gonna get as much of that out of there as I can and then um, fill it back up. See if, I can, see if I can get some brakes. Listen, I don't need all the brakes. I just need something so if i can get something out of this that resembles brakes or stopping then i'm good because i just want to you know be able to move it around the yard and whatnot i'll check back all right so i just filled it up but before i did that kind of got uh, a little lazy but i sprayed a bunch of brake clean in there right i took one of these shop towels uh, rags and put it down in there and use this small screwdriver to like scrape it around and try to get that stuff up and uh, it dissolved and picked up a lot of it and I did it again and there was less and when I looked in there there wasn't really any big chunks that I could see so hopefully maybe it just like dissolved them and picked them up but I went ahead and put some brake fluid in it now and I'm gonna put the cap back on it and see what happens so still no luck on the brake shed. I filled it up and I pumped it a bunch, but um, it's still not building any pressure. I'm assuming some of that junk in there got it all uh, clogged up the port or whatever. So I'm gonna probably try to pull it off if I can get that line off without messing it up and then see if I can clean it out, blow it out, do whatever and try it again. Cause I doubt that I'll be able to find one locally um, and that's in stock anyways. And then after that, I went ahead and put the two quarts of transmission fluid in it and started it up and checked it it still wasn't registering on the on the dipstick but while it was running i went ahead and threw it in drive anyways just to see even though the car is sitting on the ground and uh, i just wanted to see if it would like try to move and it ended up spinning this tire uh back here you know it's a one wheel peel but since there's no weight on the axle it just spun this tire and uh so yeah, I mean, the transmission still works at least somewhat. I'm going to look up the capacity for the transmission now and see how many quarts it holds and assume it's empty. Uh, so I'll go pick up however many more quarts it, it would need to be empty and then just keep checking it. And uh, I'll check back in. Still no brakes though. All right, so I went by the store and I got a new air hose. Um, because that one from my shed wasn't long enough and the little portable one wasn't going to cut it. So I got a hose, some fittings. Um, I picked up this uh, shutoff valve too. So hopefully whenever I disconnect this now, the tank's still pressurized. Perfect. Um, so that was just my easy way of filling the tank without having to have the car running for a long time for the, um, for the Viar to, to do it. So... I'm about to close this for now. We still don't have any brakes. So my uh, 
my plan B is to basically just put it in neutral and drop the car on the frame because I mean who really needs brakes whenever you can you know just lay the car out so that's what we're gonna do get some of this stuff out of the way so I don't run it over see how this goes I put a uh, one more cord in for now um, and I'm gonna check it in a second so let's see all right so now we're gonna see if I can get this thing to start pull forward and backwards Still no brakes though. All right, I'm gonna try to pull this thing around in the backyard. Well, it made it, kind of. Um, it was a little sketch, but I was able to get it around there and almost get it on the concrete. Problem was I didn't have it aired up enough and uh, bottomed out whenever I tried to, uh, to drive it up there. So here she goes just gonna air it up and try it again later but this is good for now you can see right there where it uh, bottomed out because I didn't have it lifted enough and there's a pretty decent ledge there but so we're just gonna sit until I at least get the brakes fixed in case those folks come by the code enforcement and say oh you need to be able to drive it up the street or something I doubt they would but 
Now I'm just gonna come up here and clean up all this stuff that's been accumulating underneath the car for, I don't even know how long. <laughs> There's a four-way, there's four-way lug wrenches in there. What else got blown in there? Tons of leaves. You can see where the frame rails have been sitting on the on the driveway. Some old wires, some old fuel line and stuff. I'm gonna clean all this up and I'm actually gonna pull the Cadillac up here for now since the uh, 55 is gonna be in the back. And I wanna keep it on something, uh, I wanna keep it on either asphalt or concrete or something, so. All right. All right, so this is day two on this 55 bring it back to life project. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this side. This is the side that um, was in the shade for a decade. Definitely looks the worst. Um, even when I get this thing going though, I don't know if I am gonna clean it off right away. I think I might just get it running, clean up the white walls and drive it for a little while just to see the looks on people's faces. But who knows? Anyhow, last time, last part of the video, first day, um, I got it running and I drove it back here. It's still running on a gas can um, with a hose in it that's in, underneath the hood and still has no brakes. Starter is still messed up. Starter solenoid maybe, uh, is what one of the commenters said. So I ordered one of those. I should be here tomorrow. So today I'm going to put in the new brake master cylinder. I thought about putting a, uh, or getting a rebuild kit for it and trying that because I would much rather prefer to rebuild than replace. But with the little time that I have to work on it and the fact that I'll probably do something wrong and have to replace it with the new one anyways, I just went ahead and went straight to the new one. Um, so I'm gonna put that on and I'm going to try to pump a little bit of air pressure into the tank, like hold my hand over it and hit it with the, some pressure to push some of that old gas out of the line since it's disconnected up front. Uh, and then obviously that's gonna go into a approved container. Yes. And then I don't know if I'm gonna try to start it though and try to run it. I'm gonna wait until I get that starter cylinder because I don't wanna chew the um, flywheel up anymore. Anyways. Let's get started and uh, bring it all along before it gets dark out here. All right, so my main worry here, getting this off, I'm pretty sure all these are gonna come off. Is this one. Is this gonna come off without trying to spin the brake line around and everything? I sprayed some blaster on it or WD-40 before. Probably spray a little bit more on it now. Um, and then cross my fingers and save my Hail Marys or whatever and hope this thing comes off so I can reuse it. I don't know how it happened, but it happened. Got it off without it uh, messing up the end of the hose. I just threw that little cap on there for now. Try to reduce the chances of me dropping some trash down it. Um, I'm gonna have to get this other fitting out of here. This plug and put it on the new one. Um, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and take these these nuts off and try to get this new one on there. See how this goes. All right, so just zip those four nuts off without too much of a fight and uh, yeah. So we got the old one off. Hopefully the rod length and everything's gonna be the same, but um, so I got the old one off that's over here. I was comparing it to the new one. So here's the old. Here's the new. Um, and since I bought a new one instead of a reman, I didn't have to give a core, so I'll probably keep this one. See, it's made in the USA. I don't see the same thing on this one. Anyhow, I'm gonna bolt this one in on, and it doesn't look like I have to use that other plug because, sorry, the new one came with the plug, so I'm just gonna plug this port, like that one's plugged, and throw it back on there attach the line, throw some fluid in it, and just pump the brakes a bunch of times. I know that you're probably supposed to bench bleed these, but I've done this before on a different car and it worked. 
So I don't need all the brakes. I just need like the slightest bit of brakes. So let's see how this goes. All right, so I got the new master cylinder on. Um, everything went on pretty smoothly. The only thing I had to fight with a little bit was getting this line to start threading without, um, without cross-threading or without binding on here. Um, I was able to get it done. I got the plug in, everything's tight. I'm gonna put brake fluid in it for now. Um, and then not gonna do anything with it for a minute. I'm gonna jump over to the fuel side. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up and then see if I can push all that old fuel out of the, the tank and out of this line. So let's keep going. All right, so here's where we are now. Um, this is the old line pretty brittle not gonna lie oh it's right there it's pretty brittle um doesn't inspire a whole lot of confidence uh but it actually feels like it might just be a piece that was added onto the hard line or something like that at some point so hopefully that's the case i can use a piece of this hose that i already have to replace it if i need to but i'm gonna go with what it's got now um, since it's disconnected there i'm gonna like I said, sorry, throw some air pressure in the tank and try to push some of that old stuff out. You know, once I, once I you know, set my jug up, up there. But I do want to try to see this. So this is my this red air hose. This is my main air hose. It goes to the this little shed. This is how far, this is how, this is how short I came. I had to go get this extension that I have. It's all knotted up just to make it another two and a half feet. Just my luck. All right, so I uh, made a little bit of a mess here. Apparently it came out with a little bit more force than I was anticipating. That's what she said. Um, anyhow, <laughs> I don't feel like, I'm definitely not gonna start it now because there's varnished fuel everywhere. I'm gonna spray it down a little bit with uh, probably some uh, brake parts cleaner just to clean it up some and so it'll dry up. But got the, filter hooked back onto the tank line going to the pump um i don't have the like the it's not hose well the hose clamps on it yet because i'm assuming i'm gonna have to replace this pretty expeditiously once it fills up with trash and whatnot so kind of leave it there if i do drive it i'll zip tie it to something um but what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna get over into the driver's seat and uh, pump the brakes. See if I can get a, a little bit of pedal and go from there. So you remember how just a second ago I said I wasn't gonna try to start it because of all the fuel? Well, I feel like I got some brake pedal now after pumping that about 6,000 times. And I wanna see if I have brakes. So I sprayed this down with a little bit of, you know, hose water um, to try to dilute that a little bit and I, have the hand hose handy because that's pretty much a fire extinguisher, right? Nope. But that's what we got. So I just uh, put this battery terminal back on here. I'm gonna throw some fuel in it. See if I can get it to turn over. I'm gonna put you in this little tripod situation we have here. Let's see. Yeah. All right. There we go. Let's see how that works. You can get it started. Maybe drive it. Yeah. 
Yep, that was definitely too much. Oh no, I don't have any air pressure. Let's see. All it wants to do spin but not engage dang it let me try it again in a second then see i gave the starter solenoid a couple love taps let's see if that does anything
All right, so I got the switch hooked back up and I'm gonna try to bottle feed it until it'll pull from the tank, but we'll see if it happens. Oh, I gotta turn this key on.
Well, brakes work. Yeah, I mean, somewhat. All right, so the brakes work. Enough, anyways. Um, it's still only pulling from the can. It won't pull from the tank. I don't know if there's like a split in the line somewhere and it's sucking air or what's going on, but it, uh, you know, it's still running good off of that gas tank. It's not running, well, gas can, not off the gas tank. Um, one problem though is it seems like it immediately got hot. So that's not good. Yeah. I'm assuming that means the water pump's not pumping or something. Or there's a clog or something somewhere. I don't know. It's a problem for another day, basically. I'm going to let it cool down. I'm going to um, clean up some of this stuff. And I'm going to try to see if I can back it up in here. So that way it'll be on the concrete. All right, I'll check back in. Should I let it cool down longer? It's hot. Hot, hot. All right, it's getting dark now. I think that's gonna do it for this video. Um, basically, we got it still running off the gas can, um, but it does run. Um, it does have brakes now, so that's good. What else? Still have the starter solenoid order. It should be here tomorrow, but I don't know when I'm going to be able to put that on. So, um, yeah, I'm going to finish it up here. Oh, and right now it does have an overheating issue, apparently, so I'll have to look into that. But hopefully, you know, in the next video or two, I'll be able to, like, actually let it run run off the, the car tank itself and even like put it around maybe take it up and down the street if i'm lucky so we'll see wish me luck see ya